Hello everyone, this is Sean with ComicsPriceGuide.com here with another tutorial video showing you how to use our new website for ComicsPriceGuide.com. Uh, today we are going to talk about how to buy, sell, and trade your issues, books, and collectibles on the site. So if you are going to buy, sell, or trade, uh, your main home is going to be in the classified section and uh, we are currently looking at the home page here. You can see that I am already logged in. I've got my member profile avatar and username up there. And up here is the handy dandy menu where you can see the classifieds link is right here. So I'll go ahead and click on that and that will take me into the classifieds section. And this is where you can see um, all of the active listings uh, that were published by our members uh, as well as your own listings if you have any that are active. You can also see newly listed sales, so as our members add books uh, to their collection that they're willing to sell, you can uh, see, see those books that are being added. And then you can also uh, search collections, so if you've got a specific issue in mind, you can do a direct search from right here. Well, let's start with the classifieds, which lets you see more listings that are uh, more timely. This is going to be listings that you know, people have a lot that they're trying to sell or a group of books or maybe they're trying to make an announcement. Um, and that's what you can see here uh, with our members listing uh, their various classifieds. Uh, you can browse by the date, which is over here on the left-hand side, or you can actually filter your results to see only issues that are for sale or people that are posting want to buy ads. Uh, this is a great way to announce to the community that you actually want to purchase uh, a book. Uh, and by checking and unchecking these, you can actually see them start to refresh and show up on the site. Uh, you can look at announcements, so if somebody's just announcing a convention or a new store or store opening, uh, you can also look at bulk sale lots. Uh, so these are only um, uh, you know larger lots or groups of books that are being sold. So let's go ahead and go back and we'll look at all the sales listings. So by unchecking these, we can see just the sales listings. And let's say that I'm interested in this listing. Uh, you can click on the title to actually see the individual listing, uh, which will give you the information that the user posts. Um, you know, sometimes they'll post a lot, sometimes just a little bit. But either way, once you drill down into the listing, over here on the right-hand side in the toolbar, you can see that there is a Message Me button. Uh, and this is how you uh, can send a message to the user and let them know Hey, I'm interested. Send me more information. And through our messaging system, you can communicate directly with the individual members uh, and ultimately negotiate directly with them on um, making the purchase and uh, completing the sale. All sales information is kept between you and the user. Uh, we don't do any middleman uh, negotiations for you or any sales management. So this is just an, a way to contact the individual seller and ultimately broker your own deal. Um, we won't go ahead and close out of this. And uh, Let's say that we do have a specific issue that we're going to be looking for. So I'll go back here to the classifieds and click on search collections. And this is where I can enter in the issue title that I'm looking for to find all the books that are for sale. So let's just say that uh, I'm looking for Powerpuff Girls. Don't judge me, I have a daughter. So click on Powerpuff Girls. And we can see all of the issues that are currently for sale. Um, I can click on my issues to be reminded really quickly of just what issues I have. So I've got number one and number 21. Click on issues for sale tab. Well, they've got number four and 13. Uh, one of those interests me, so let's go ahead and click on number four. I can see uh, this symbol over here indicates that it's for sale. So if I click on this, this will bring up a pop-up that shows all of the members who have the book for sale. In this case, there's only one that has it for sale. Uh, this is an account that I created. Um, that explains the egregious price that's listed here. But uh, let's say that I thought that that was a fair price. I would just go ahead and click on this and this will take me to the listing page. And here's where I can see the book details. I see that this book is a 9.4. Uh, I can see if there's any current offers on the book. Uh, I can also see other books being offered by that particular seller. But if I wanted to go ahead and make this purchase, what I would do is enter in an offer here. Let's just go ahead and say 13.50. Click the button to make the offer. 
and my offer has now been accepted. So what this does is this uh, submits an offer into the system and the system will then send a message to the seller. Um, the seller will then have seven days to act, to act on uh, your offer and either accept it or, or reject it. Now that I've made the offer, I can continue browsing the site and I can make multiple offers on multiple books if I want. Uh, and whenever I'm ready to come back and actually manage that offer, you can do it in a couple ways. Uh, if you click on your member toolbar, you will see that one of the listings here is offers. So if I click on this, this will show me all the offers that I've made uh, most recently. So I see that this is the Powerpuff Girls number four. I've got six days left on this offer so before it expires. Uh, this was made to test user silver and it was made for 1350. Now if I go ahead and click on manage your offers, this takes you specifically to your offer page. And from the offer page you can do a couple of things. You can cancel your offer. Uh, so if you hover over here you can see um, remove offer. You can also contact the seller. So if it's been three or four days and you haven't heard anything, you can send them another message to remind them that uh, you have the offer out. Um, the, if you have an offer out and uh, let's just say that uh, a member has accepted your offer, uh, a couple things will happen. First, you'll get a message, which if we look up here in the handy dandy account bar, I do have a new message. And if I click on this, you can see that uh, Mostly Real has sent me a message about Action Comic Zero. And it seems that my offer has been accepted. So this is great. So what we'll do is we will actually go back into our offers, into what we call the Limbo Box. And the Limbo Box is for uh, all of your issues that are currently pending some sort of sale. Whether you have accepted an offer or whether you have made an offer, uh, these issues are placed in your limbo box. So here, for example, is a Powerpuff Girls number one offer that I had made um, where uh, the item has been marked as received, but the payment has not been marked as received yet. Uh, ultimately, this limbo box depends on the partnership between the seller and the buyer because once the uh, item is marked as both received and paid, then this book will actually be transferred directly from one account to the other. So you don't have to go into your collection and add the book and the seller doesn't have to go to their collection and remove the book. This process is done for you. So here we can see that uh, I just had my offer on Action Comics number zero uh, accepted. So at this point I would contact the member and arrange for payment and arrange for shipping and once I have received the book I will mark that book as received. If you want to, you can include a message. Mark it as received. You can see the message has been marked as received and you see that the book has been offered. And on the seller side, they will then get a memo that the book has been received and then they can mark it as paid. And as soon as that is done, then this will be removed from your limbo box and it will be officially in your collection. So thank you for tuning in. I hope this was helpful and I hope it gave you an opportunity to see how to buy, sell, and trade your books on ComicPriceGuide.com.